This is, as I assume a bunch of you already know, or at least you can tell, the beginnings of my at-home office. There is still a long laundry list of things that need to be done before it can truly earn itself that name, but the first and foremost problem that I wanted dealt with was figuring out a bike storage solution that was gonna get these things off the ground so they weren't encroaching in and taking up all this valuable real estate because it is a fairly small room while also not hanging from the wall vertically because that creates the same problem and they're not exactly easy to get to, all while also looking good. Kind of a tall order. So the solution that Angela and I did agree upon that would still look good and get enough bikes off the ground were these three piece wall mounting bracket kits that if you do it right and space them equally, you can get three bikes on the wall. It consists of this sheet of metal bent in a way that holds the pedal. And then once you get that done, you just put your other angle brackets onto the wall to support the wheel. Even though it really doesn't do much other than keep the bike from like moving back and forth. It's really the pedal that holds most of the weight. Now the best part of this solution is the fact that the bikes lean out this way instead of like just typically hanging the bike horizontally. And it kind of lets them stack within each other so that you can actually fit the three up here. Otherwise, you might even have a hard time getting two. Not to mention, I just kind of like the way it looks to sit beside and the fact that it's a good backdrop for one of the walls in the room. So there's a lot of positives. Once everything's up there, it's just kind of a pain to get it to work. As a matter of fact, I, I sort of screwed up the top one and that is why Angela's bike is up there because it's the smallest bike we have in the fleet. And also the pedal, the pedal allows it to lean out a little bit further because the seat's not the problem, but the handlebar is actually almost touching the ceiling of the house. So our ceilings are just under eight feet, but just enough to not let you make any mistakes with the spacing that you use to put three bikes up. So maybe if you're gonna try this and you wanna put three bikes up, um, certainly take that into consideration. Otherwise, you're just gonna find yourself painfully close to being able to get that in there. Like, ugh, if I had an inch, I could probably get the third bike up there for a bike that's my size. That's worth trying. Definitely worth trying, as a matter of fact. This actually worked. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. Typically, when I decide to take things on that aren't like directly bike related, um, they don't. They don't work. Mm. I mean, it works with one caveat. The the bikes that go on the top, like the Chinelli here, um, the the top is going to be reserved pretty well exclusively for bikes that have very low bars because they do want to hit the ceiling if they're up too high and probably limited to bikes that are between size 51 and 56, all with slam bars or um, with like a track, track style, zero brake hoods. Uh, otherwise it'll hit the ceiling and it won't sit right. Like the Trinelli can go up there, uh, the LA can go up there, this can't. That's pretty good. I'm glad in this video that I decided to at least give that a try because it was a little bit of a bummer that only Angela's bike could go up there. Now, like I said, uh, be prepared because these are annoying to put together to have a little bit of like maybe wall repairs to do afterwards. Obviously I gotta fill in a couple holes here that are now pretty prominent, along with uh, earlier mistakes from the first time that I put it up. Putting this together is a pretty good exercise in patience and trial and error. But look how cool it looks with all three of those bikes up there. Now, there's one other spot 
where I would like to put the effort in to have a bike hanging on the wall in a way of storage and display, and that of course is right behind me. Of course I threw an old fixed gear frame up here on the ledge that's here just to try and create a little bit of interest back there. It doesn't work. It doesn't look good. Um, I'm just gonna make one. I'm gonna make one right now and hope that it turns out at least kind of decent. I'm gonna make this as simple and as quick as I can. You know, just in case it doesn't like end up looking that way. I don't know that I would hang off of it, but maybe it might well. I'm still, I'm still a big fan of the idea of this. It could just be that this frame has too much of a compact geometry, has the rear wheel too close to this wall, so I can't push it back. I think I'll need to be very deliberate of the bikes I choose to put here to have on display so we don't have this problem. But I'm gonna go ahead and say that this thing with the flatter top tube is probably gonna be the best candidate for being up here. Excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One, two. That should look a little bit more interesting in the background and doubles as a storage solution for getting another bike off of the ground. And while the handiwork is not good, I would say that the final product of actually having it up there does look pretty good. It's certainly not as effective as those, but I'd hate to be too repetitious in such a small office. Every corner should look a little different. Anyway, this is, you know, this is obviously totally changeable at any given time. You can throw pretty much whatever bike you want. This would be one of those arty storage walls that gets featured in the background of vlogs in the future. Over here, well, I don't know, I don't know what. I certainly don't mind the Chanel up there, but I would like to have the freedom to put whatever I want. So there's a possibility that a different style, like bike holder of sorts, will need to go up there. Um, I just don't know. I don't know what that would look like yet. Okay, those uh, those bike storage wall mounts, they're linked below. Um, if you enjoyed if you enjoyed videos like this, uh, let me know. Make a new one every day.